So today's video is all about getting to know me. Who am I? Where do I come from? What do I do? You know, what, what moves me? What inspires me? What drives me? Why is MJ working on a cruise ship? So without wasting much time, let's dive right into it. Number one, who is MK? My full name is Mukululi. Well, oh my goodness. I can't believe that I'm actually calling myself Mukululi. If people from my home village would hear me say that, they would give me a, a really hard slap across the face. It's Mukululi. Mukululi. Baby. Yes. So what Mukululi means is a person who sets free, you know. Uh, it's one of the names that I used to describe Jesus. And I don't know why they decided to name it that, but it, well, there had to be a reason behind it. So that's my name. It's in the language of Ndebele, which is spoken in Zimbabwe. So I'm from the beautiful country of Zimbabwe. And um, yeah, Zimbabwe is in the southern part of Africa, sharing a border with South Africa, uh, Namibia, Mozambique, Zambia, Botswana, Am I forgetting anything else? Malawi, yes. And do we share a border with Angola? No, I don't think so. But yeah, that is who I am. In my other life, I am a gospel singer. As some of you would have already found out by now that I've got two channels. One is named after me uh, and it's called Mukululi Pepe. And I will just link the name below. But on that channel, you'll find nothing to do with cruise life. You'll find absolutely nothing to do with cruise life. I want to keep that channel um, specifically for music and my journey in as far as music is concerned. So I remember there's a comment that came through uh, from a person. I don't, I think it's a lady. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm not getting it right. But the person asks and they say, but... Um, why don't you use your real name? If you used your real name, you'd have millions of followers. I beg to differ. I am an optimist, but there is a channel in my name and I am barely on 50,000 subscribers, which is good. But yeah, you can find me there. You can find anything to do with music. I'll keep it separate from this one. This one is for... <laughs> It's for ship life exclusively. I decided to document this journey because I wanted to show you, a, uh, well, I wanted to give you a behind the scenes look at how it is to live on board a cruise ship. There's a lot of expectations that you need to manage if you're about to work on a cruise ship. So this channel is all about, you know, giving you a bit of advice so that you make an informed decision um yeah and know the benefits the pros and the cons yeah so what inspired me to um work on cruise ships so <laughs> i was working for another company in south africa i actually moved to johannesburg south africa for uh, a couple of years I, I lived and worked in johannesburg south africa beautiful place beautiful home and I have lived most of my adult life there. And it was really nice. I remember walking into this lady's office at one point um, and she says, wow, I like your personality. What do you do? And I told her what I do and she was inspired. And she's like, you know, a person like you would really do well on cruise ships. That was in 2020. And then I ignored her. I thought, oh my goodness, she's crazy. And then I met her a couple of months later. It was now 2021. And she repeats the same words. And she's like, you know what? You would do very well on cruise ships. And I still did not take her seriously. Okay. That was the second encounter. Three months after that, she bumps into me again and says, listen, you are going to give me your CV and I'm going to submit it. And... You know, <laughs> I, uh, and it came at a point where I needed a change. I needed the kind of stability that comes with having a, a full-time job because I'm sure as most of you would know that music is really beautiful. Music is really satisfying to the soul. But when it comes to paying bills, uh, <laughs> gospel music is, 
it favors who it wants to favor and i'm not here to complain about anything i'm one of those people who is proactive i will ask myself what can i do to make my life better what can i do to enhance my you know my status in in this thing called life and i will do whatever it takes so it came to me that okay if i do get this job on a cruise ship it will enable me to raise enough money to continue with my recordings because believe it or not yes music does bring in a lot of revenue but you spend most of that revenue on upcoming projects because you always got to be on the pulse you always got to keep pushing new music into the market you know and you got to market you got to market the music because a product without marketing is something else but i'm not here to talk about music for more on that just visit my other channel it's got everything to do with music so i will not dwell on that skip to the the the, the reason why i decided to let it all go and decide to venture off into the unknown <laughs> it's scary it is scary i don't want to lie to you it's scary venturing into the unknown but i have found it i'm on my fifth month by the way i took a six months contract six month contract my english guys uh so i took a six month contract and i'm on month number five i'm actually signing off next month at the end of next month um and it has been very challenging i don't want to lie it's been very challenging because number one you're used to having things getting you're used to somebody helping you out at some point with something you know and my wife usually does most of the things with the helping out and stuff like that you know it's the little things that you take for granted so uh <laughs> yeah chasing after my socks you know all all over the room it's not a very big room and uh, yeah it's been it's been interesting but i'm used to it now and she would attest to the fact that i'm i'm also used to doing a lot of the things myself somebody to tell you oh i think that shirt doesn't fit well or i think this tie matches better with this you know you get to make those decisions and you don't get too much time because <laughs> when you work on a cruise ship like everything you gotta be on the pulse um everything you know it's just timed it's just timed so even with this video that i'm recording i'm actually doing this on my two hour break and i've taken up about an hour of my break so immediately after this i'll need to quickly shower and get ready and be at work in about 15 to 20 minutes so well yeah apart from the fact that it it also helps to work like five minutes away from where you live so that's one of the the, the pros with uh, living and working on a ship now for those of you with goals of achieving something in the near to medium term i would recommend working on a cruise ship because you get to save a lot of money you get to save a lot of money because food is taken care of your accommodation is taken care of it's a bit different in my case because i've got a family to take care of back home so yeah it, it works a bit differently the dynamics are different for everybody but i mean suppose you were 21 or 22 or 19 and decide to go on cruise ships it would really be rewarding because it means the bulk of the money you get to keep you can spend it all if you want or you can save it and do something very meaningful so it's it's really rewarding financially if you i mean if you bring everything into perspective so i would recommend this job to anybody considering working on a cruise ship one other pro is knowing that you are in a different country every single day well depending on the itinerary because every ship has a home dock you know like where you dock where every week or every two weeks depending on how long the voyage is i know it's pretty confusing guys i can't believe i'm using ship language now um it took me a few months to get accustomed to it so there's a home port 
this is where the ship departs from. This is where you pick up your passengers from. Because remember, the whole idea behind a cruise ship is to pick up passengers who want to go on a vacation. So you pick them up from your home port. And in this case, my home port is Port Canaveral in, uh, in the United States. So we pick passengers up from Port Canaveral, usually on a Sunday. And we are back in Port Canaveral to disembark the passengers the next Sunday. So our voyages are one week long. I hope it makes sense. Well, I've tried to explain it as best as I can. It's the same as a flight itinerary. Like it gives you an outline, a detailed outline of the places that you're going to visit in that particular voyage from Sunday to Sunday. Where are you going? So it, it, it really helps to be in a different country every single day because you'll find that on Sunday we're in Port Canaveral. On Monday we are in uh, St. Thomas. On Tuesday, or no, Monday would be a sea day, obviously. And then maybe on Tuesday would be St. Thomas and then St. Martin and then different countries and it's so beautiful especially i am so privileged that i am on the largest cruise ship in the world you know and getting to be on this itinerary the eastern and western caribbean itinerary where we get to visit the bahamas the u.s virgin islands saint martin you know um we've been to puerto rico saint juan as you saw in my previous video we've visited cozumel mexico um costa maya so um, well, we've visited falmouth jamaica we visit labadee haiti so it really 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 comforts me to um, be able to partake in the different cultures. I've traveled a lot as a singer. Um, I'm, I'm really embracing this. I'm really embracing this and I'm, I'm soaking it all in because clearly I will not be able to do it for a very long time. But being able to experience this kind of life has really changed my perspective on life and I look forward to nothing else but the best. So guys, that's it. Any questions you might have, just drop them in the comment section. Continue spreading the love. Continue commenting. Continue hitting that like button and continue subscribing. Continue sharing the good news of my channel. I will tell it to you as it is. I will not filter. I'll be truthful. And yeah, I'll try to keep it as real as possible to the best of my knowledge. Because like I said before, I am not a therapist or a psychologist or psychiatrist or anything like that. I'm just a guy out here trying to do life. And if I can get to do with you, uh, oh my God. And if I can get to do with you, and if I can get to do it with you guys, then I'll be i'll be happy i'll be happy so i'll catch you in the next video please guys spread love out there there's not enough kind people out here spread love out there take care